All right, so I did a video covering the event called The Best Frenzy, and this lasts until September 12th. Now, if you want information on how to do it, again, check out that video that I already did. But this is the final reward right here, this awesome looking pickaxe, and you need 50 points to get this, 50. It doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it took a lot of grinding. So just for a quick refresher, for every 10 minutes that you play together with a friend on your friend list, you get one point. So 10 minutes equals one point. And then for one hour a day, you could get triple the points. But you have to set this time in advance. Now the worst part about this whole thing is that it only works with one single friend. So for example, right here, as you can see, I partied up with my friend Bilal, AKA Ghost Knight. And we got 56 points in total. But if I go down a little bit, it says total progress with Twitch Long Johns, who's also my friend, and we have a current total of 19. And then I've also got progress with Syndra Mega, who is another one of my friends, and we've got 10 points together. So it doesn't work by adding them all up, is what I'm trying to say. For example, the 19 with Long Johns and the 10 with Mega, those are separate. I would have to earn 50 points with one single person. And it actually says that down below. It says, remember, points are not cumulative across friends. You must accrue enough points with a single friend for both of you to unlock the relevant rewards. So if you start this challenge and you're trying to complete it, you got to do it with the same guy over and over. You can't spread it across friends because it basically resets your count and starts a new one with them. I hope that makes sense because I didn't know that at the start. I'm sure I mentioned it in my video, but it didn't dawn on me until now. But anyway, I wanted to review all the rewards because again, as you can see, I just unlocked the final one. And I'm not sure how you say this, a quarry axe, a quarry axe, something like that, but it looks awesome. So it's basically got like little Nemo fishies in there. I love finding Nemo, by the way. And there's also a plant shoved in there as well. And it's also water themed, obviously. So let's check this out. It's part of the Slurp series, which is awesome in and of itself. So it says a pickaxe made of water <laughs> sounds fishy. That's awesome. That's a dad joke right there. Now it is part of a set. It says the undercover summer set, and I believe that's all the new summer skins such as Brutus and Midas. Let's just take a look real quick. Yeah, all these people are in the undercover summer set. So you got Midas, Brutus, Jules, Ruby, and Crystal. Now to be fair, yes, it would go with all these because they're all beach related, they're all summer themed, but I had someone more interesting in mind. And that of course would be Ripley, who would go great with this pickaxe. Not the purple one, obviously, not the red one, but the blue one. So that would be sweet. But we've also got another compatible set, and these are even more so my favorite. And those, of course, would be the Slurp skins. So we've got Bandolette, Jonesy, or Leviathan. I guess you could use Serpentine or Slurpo as well. But look, they all pop up because they're all part of the Slurp series. So that's what I would recommend. Any one of these skins I've got listed here is who this pickaxe could go with. Or I guess you could just go with the summer theme like I showed. Now, oddly enough, there doesn't appear to be an actual Slurp Series glider. At least, I don't own one. So nothing pops up when I type it in. However, we do have a Victory Royale umbrella that's water-based, and that's called a Downpour. So that's pretty sweet. I guess that would go perfectly with it. So we'll do that. Now, do we have a Slurp Contrail? I think we do. I think Ripley came with one. Yeah, he did. Look at that. This is going to be awesome. So I know it's not supposed to be Slurp. It's more so water. Actually, is there a water one? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's type in water. I got a lot of countries. Oh, there is a water one. Ooh, slurp or water? I don't know. You know, I'm just going to leave it for slurp because she's made out of it. She's not necessarily water. And then for a wrap, obviously the Ripley wrap would be best because it's made out of water or slurp juice. So I'm going to showcase this first because this is the final reward. But I also want to showcase the wrap and the music pack that you could also unlock. So I'll do those in just a second. Let's check this out first. All right, so that looks pretty sweet. Look at that. A lot of watery, slurpy theme here. I love it. This is pretty sweet. And we haven't even seen the pickaxe yet. Nice. All right, so here we go. As you can see, this skin looks awesome. But we're looking at the pickaxe. Here's the pullout noise. It definitely sounds like the Ripley one. Now, of course, you may be asking why not just run Ripley's pickaxe, which actually is slurp, and it's not necessarily water. 
And that's a fair point. You could do that. Or you could just run this with the beach skins like the set wants you to. But as you can see, the little Nemo fishies are swimming around in there. Water drips off. Let's see if there's a contrail. Yeah, nice watery, splashy contrail. Look at that. Now the real question, is there a splash effect? Get it? Splash? Water? Ha! Waka waka! Oh look, little fishies fly out! No! You see those little Nemos popping out? Oh, it's nighttime too. Let's see if anything glows in there. Be cool if the little Nemos lit up. I can't believe the fish fly out when you hit the wall. <laughs> look at them, you see them fly out? They literally come crashing out of there. My poor little fishies. So there you go, that's the reward for grinding 50 points. This awesome looking beach themed water splash and fun pickaxe. So let's take a look at the wrap now. All right, so here's the wrap. It's called Life's a Beach. And oddly enough, this one is not part of the same set. In fact, it doesn't have a set at all. But you can see it's basically supposed to be sand. There's some seashells in there and then some footprints because obviously when you walk in sand, it leaves your footprints. Pretty sweet, I guess. Now we'll display this a little better by using the customized captain skin, one of my favorites ever. This is part of the show your style set. Now, of course, with these, you can customize it with a wrap and it turns into this jacket so we can see it better. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the platinum hair on. Does that really match or should I use white? Eh, it's a close match. We'll just go with that. Now, no back bling so we can see better. And then I'm just gonna leave the pickaxe as the one that I earned and we should be good to go. And I guess I should mention the other reward right here is the outer space handshake. Now I misidentified this last time. I accidentally said it was from Rocky. It's not from Rocky, it is from Predator. That's uh, the guy that plays Apollo Creed and not Sylvester Stallone, but Arnold Schwarzenegger. They do that handshake right there. So I messed that up. I don't know why I had Rocky on my brain, but it's just a simple emoticon. And then we'll listen to the music pack in just a second. So let's check out this wrap in game along with the customized Captain wrap skin. All right, so here's the wrap. It's kind of hard to see right now due to the sun going down, but in the dark, we'll see the full effect in just a second. So you can clearly notice the footprints, especially on the wrap skin. It's just a weird color. I know it's supposed to represent the beach and a sandy color, but ugh, that tan is just not the best to look at, that's for sure. Now, of course, the feet animation is pretty cool. I guess it depends if you like feet or not. But the fact that it just walks through the sand, that's pretty sweet, in my opinion. It reminds me of the Meowsel's wrap, where the paw prints come across. But you can clearly see the seashells all over, especially on the wrap jacket. But on the wrap itself on the weapon, eh, it's just okay. I mean, it's nothing amazing. It would go great with the cardboard skins. Remember those? Just trying to figure out if I have any other skins that have this weird color scheme, that weird tan color. Nice animation though, but probably not something I myself would ever run. Let me spin her around real quick. I mean, if you're looking for a tan wrap, there you go. Probably one of the best ones we've got. Let's see it on the sniper. Let's see it on the minigun here. It's not reactive, remember, it's just animated. You can't really see the footprints on that one. Well, maybe a little bit there. Let's just get in a limb and see if it does anything. I doubt it will. Nope. So there you go. That is Life's a Beach Wrap. And here's the Outer Space Handshake. Heat. I mean, that would be cool to use on the hollow back bling where you can actually equip your emoticons into the back bling. So there you go. Those are all the rewards minus the music pack. Let's go check that out right now. All right, so as I mentioned, the last thing is the Invasion Remix track, which is to my left. I'm going to play it as the outro in just a second so you can hear it. I won't play the full thing, but just enough that you can hear it and see if it's worth your while. Now, in my opinion, is it worth doing this event to get these three or four items? That depends. If you love the pickaxe, then yes, I would totally recommend it. The wrap, not my cup of tea personally. I wouldn't want to grind necessarily just for that, but the wrap is midway. You only need 20 points for that. So if you really want that wrap and you don't want the pickaxe, you can stop right there. And the music pack is only 10 points and then the emoticon is only three. So depending on what you want out of this, it could be worth your grind and it could not. It did take me a long time. It took me and Bilal like three or four days 
to do this. So it's a bit difficult in regards to how long it takes. And you never know if these rewards are gonna come to the item shop eventually. I don't know if it ever said they could. There's always a possibility. So if you wanna hold on to that hope, then I wouldn't grind this out. But let's say they are exclusive and this is the only way you can get them. I myself would recommend doing it just for the pickaxe. So there you go. Remember it ends September 12th. Get your grind on if you wanna do this. Now let's play out the video with the Invasion Remix Track Music Pack. Here you go.